Okay, I gotta redo my EDC video, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it like this. So. Um, everything that you can see as part of my EDC is on me right now. Um, what EDC stands for is um, everyday carry, and it's what you carry every day. And so now I'm gonna. Uh, you know what? Let me go over here. So I'm gonna. Hopefully you can get this. Oh. Right. Well, I'm gonna, I'll pan down for it. Okay. Um. First off, personal protection is a big thing in my life, so I do carry a firearm. My most commonly carried gun is this right here, the Kiltec P32. It's a 32 automatic. The reason I carry this is because it's very lightweight, it's very compact, and with the clip on the side of the gun here, I can carry it without a holster and it won't slide down my pants. Carries um, six rounds, I believe, in the magazine. I can't fully remember right now because I'm an idiot. But I also carry right here on my side a spare magazine. This one carries ten rounds, and it does have the extended finger group, finger extension right there. So now I got a full grip. Um, this is not my. This is not a primary weapon in my eyes. This is a backup or a drop gun. Basically, I carry this because if somebody's trying to kill me or something, I'm gonna pop one or two in them and I'm gonna take off. And you're gonna see me dial a 911 from a block away behind a car, or behind a building, or something like that, or I'm still gonna be running down the street. This is not, in my eyes, a stay and fight gun. Okay? Uh, when it gets winter and I can afford it, or even sometimes during the summer, if I'm going to a place that um, does have a high crime area, I will carry my Glock. But then I got a jacket on or something like that, and I'll show you that up here in a little bit. So there's my pistol. Two magazines. I'm going to set the stuff over here. Uh, next thing I'm going to carry, I'm going to show you my knife. It's a cold steel tie light. Okay, so the Kendex version is, um, I believe this is a 6 inch. Or 5 inch, or 4 inch. I think it's a 4 inch, I can't remember anymore. But the reason I carry it is because it's, again, it's a it's a small compact blade. You can see it slips right there in my pocket and it does not impede me going into my pocket for anything. And if need be, I can pull it out and deploy it very quickly. I only use that deployment technique for in case I need it right then and there. Example would be a fight. You know, I can't get to my weapon or I can't carry my handgun on me. I'll carry this. Other than that, I just pull it out and flip it open like that. You can flip this very quickly open like that. I don't know if you saw that, but I'll pull it out. The thumb stud is much, it's a bit small for me, so that's what I use. That's my primary blade. Um, the second thing I carry is actually my keys, or third I guess. Um, the keys, my keys are special for no reason except for I do carry a photon micro light on there. Now this is the one that has the multiple functions. Goes down, power, and strobe, and stuff like that. I also carry a P38 can opener. Um, I stole this clip off another mini flashlight, but I use this thing to clip it on my pant leg or my belt loop or whatever I need to clip it onto. Let's carry a handcuff key. And it's just my regular old keys, which I do need to go through. Next would be my wallet. Uh, again, nothing special about the wallet. The thing I want to talk about, and actually I think my wallet did get deleted, is that it's got two eye holes right here. So I can wear this around my neck, which I do. You open it up, everything kind of hangs out in there. Got a little pocket right here for my challenge coin. How long? Yeah, I'm not gonna, oh yeah, I'll show you. Why not? I'll show you real quick. My challenge coin from when I was in. Um, it's got room for money, 
It's got a little zipper pocket here for important stuff, and you can flip a passport down inside these pockets too. Um, my next item is actually in my pocket right now because I broke the case for it, but it's my cell phone. And it's a very important vital piece of equipment because it is your primary source of communication. If you get involved in a shooting, if you get involved in a stabbing, if you get involved in a car accident, if you get lost, if you get bored, this little thing right here is what you use, okay? So, I got a missed call. Who called me? Oh, that's not important. So, you know, to me that's very important. And also, I like the fact that it has a camera on it. Because if need be, I can take pictures, car accidents, and stuff like that if I have to. Keep in mind, always keep your battery charged. Right now, I've got two bars on my battery. When I come home from work, I want to charge it. Um, I carry my watch. My watch is always on me at all times. But that's just like till time. I also wear my paracord bracelet, and I got some cordage if I need it. Uh, I can use this also if I have to, in a situation I can start a fire. Um, I don't really carry stuff for the wilderness, I carry more for the city, because I live in the city. But, if I have to, I can use that to, you know, tie up a, um, like if my exhaust falls off on the car, I can use that to tie up the end of it. Um, stuff like that. Belt. Belt is very important. I'll show you why. If I do get involved in a shooting or I come across a car accident or something like that and a person is bleeding profusely, these belts are army issue. They are designed to be used as a tourniquet in an emergency situation. Okay? That's why it is military regulations you always wear your belt. It is part of your equipment. Um, one more thing I forgot to tell you about. It. Now, it's not part of my EDC, but it might need for yours. A small USB drive. If you are a diabetic, if you are schizophrenic or any type of medical condition, this is a perfect place to keep your medical records. If you're not, if you have, you know, a DNR, do not resuscitate order, living will, stuff like that. This is another good place for that. You can also keep a list of medications that you're on on this. If you get sick, you get hurt, and paramedics find this on you, if they're smart, they will tell the hospital. The hospital will pop this into their computer, and they'll be able to have your medical records right there. And stuff like that. So this is very important. It, or not very important, but a good piece of equipment to have. Also, you can keep backups of um, birth certificates, stuff like that. I would encrypt that, by the way. Our birth certificates, passports, and stuff like that. Because, um, especially if you go outside the country, you know, let's say you get mugged and you lose all that stuff. Well, now you've got this that'll help you prove who you are. You know, in most police departments, um, I know, like, almost all federal agencies are going to have a computer in there that could work it, read it. You can also keep, you know, just regular, you know, contact information in case your cell phone gets lost and you make a phone call. You can find somebody to help you out. You know, might have to go to the library or a police station or a hospital or something and say, Look, man, can I just borrow your computer for a second because I need to get my, you know, my father-in-law's phone number who lives two blocks away. I don't know what it is, you know. So that's just something to keep in the back of your mind. So that's the crap that I carry. Yep, have fun.